welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I want to say a pleasant good day to each and every one of you. Today I'm in the mood of some good back home food and for me that is dal and rice, some bhaji or spinach and I have something that I want to show you guys that I'm going to add to this menu as well and you're going to tell me when last you had this or if you know what this is so here is my dal it's finished cooking i have many many recipes for dal on my channel so i didn't show how i made it today but it is looking amazing look at the pepper and the jeera and the garlic floating on top i'm gonna continue so i have some nice poi bhaji here or some malabar spinach and this goes very well with dal. I'm gonna wash these up. My husband's gonna help me to chop them up. And then I will show you the next step. So spinach is done cutting up. I have some ingredients here. I have some fresh green onions from my garden. I have um, two mariwuri pepper for flavor. I have some garlic. I have half of a large onion. I'm gonna chop all these up. And what I like about spinach, it is really, really rich in nutrients and you don't have to add a lot and you get back so much out of um, any kind of spinach. So now I have about two teaspoons of oil in the pan. I'm gonna add all my ingredients. I'm gonna go in here with the um, onion and the pepper my green onions and the garlic and spinach is one of the easiest things to make and it takes just a little bit of ingredients for all my vegetarian friends this is a perfect dish for you as well dal and spinach but tonight i'm making vegetarian and non-vegetarian version um, dinner tonight so i have enough food for every one of you my vegetarian viewers and my non-vegetarian viewers i'm gonna let this cook for about two minutes or so until everything gets nice and mixed in and then i will add my spinach and I will walk you guys through that step. So now my ingredients is nicely cooked the way I like it. I don't like it to get um, burnt. So now I'm gonna add my spinach and the spinach surely look like a lot. Uh, this is gonna reduce to a small amount once I add some salt and cover it down a little. So guys, check this out. Let me know in the comment if you know what this fish is, um, how you like to prepare it, and when was the last time you had it. Please leave in the comment and let me know. Back home in Guyana, we used to call this mullet. And this is the little fish that you can see through with the silver line from top to bottom. They're so cute and tiny. But I remember my mom used to prepare it with dal and rice. And she used to prepare it with, sometimes she will cook it in a cur like a dry down curry with some coconut milk. But today I'm going to season this and fry it to eat with my dal and rice and spinach. But guys, when I see it in the store, I couldn't resist this because I didn't had it for years and years now. So the spinach is cooking up nicely and as usual the Malabar spinach or the Poi Bhaji always spring up some water. So I'm just going to let this water cook out and then this is going to be ready. It's looking nice. I love spinach. So I have the mullets here. I wash it with lime and I dry them out because I'm trying to get out excess water. So the next thing I'm going to do, I will add some salt to that and I will leave the measurement in the description below. 
for the seasoning. It's very easy to um, prepare if you're doing it this way. It doesn't take much. And then I'm gonna go in with some green seasoning. And because I already tried to dry it up and take the moisture, I'm gonna try not to put too much of the green seasoning because it's more on the wet side. So just about that amount. So we're gonna add some curry powder and this is gonna work as the flour to coat the fish from not sticking to the pan when I'm frying it. So a nice generous amount and plus it will add flavor and bring out a nice crispy crunchy finish with the fish so the next thing i'm gonna do now i'm gonna mix this all these ingredients in well and we're gonna start frying so we're gonna mix this in and let that curry powder coat all over you can add more if you like but i'm gonna keep it with this much and then my oil is warming up I will fry this and then I'm gonna be serving up dinner very soon. So my oil is hot and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the mullet in the oil now. You wanna put a, um, a good amount so they don't stick. And I think all mine can fit in this pan. I'm gonna fry it till it's nice and crispy. And then I'll take them out the oil and drain them before I serve it up. So here is my delicious food uh, prepared on a during the week night. I have my dal here. I have some rice. I have my beautiful looking juicy spinach. And here is the um, mullet that I fried. Uh, crispy and nice. I, I'm so sorry I didn't buy more because after you fry it, you just it turns little and it's really delicious to eat because when you cook it like this, it have a very nice crunch and a nice aftertaste. So this is the beautiful fried mullet. Let me know in the um, comment when was the last time you had it. And I'm going to play it up now and let you guys know how this tastes. So come on down, guys. You're all invited for some of this meal. Look how much food I cook on a during the week night. I did good, right guys? Dal, rice, spinach or bhaji, and my mullet, and I can't wait to dig in. So I'm gonna go right ahead. I have this piece of pepper here with the bhaji. I love dal and bhaji. Such a rich, nutritious dish. And this mouthful here is for all my vegetarian friends. So I'm gonna take my first bite. Cheers to you guys. Wow. You guys can tell from that mouthful, right? So delicious. That spinach poi bhaji man is so, so rich. And it's full with iron, this specific poi bhaji. Mm. For all my veg um, non-vegetarian friends, the mullet, if you know of it, I like when it's fried like this with dal because listen to this crunch. You might have to come closer. <laughs> listen to this. Did you hear it? Mm. That right there because that fish is small and it, ha it actually have a lot of fine bone inside. So when you fry everything up crispy, you can chew from the bone to everything and there's a sweetness in the after after you finish doing it there's such a nice delicious sweetness so i'm gonna take a mouthful to wash this down mm. so delicious so guys i want to say if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so I hope I inspire you guys to go looking for mullet. I didn't have this in years, but I just happened to find it and I couldn't resist. So it is bringing back a lot of memory for me and I hope it did something for you. 
So I want to say stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.